primary students continue to build on what they learned in kindergarten, and they explore ideas in new ways. Moving up to the primary grades is the next step for both children and parents. There are lots of new routines and things to learn in grades one, two, and three. In primary math, there is more emphasis on understanding how math works. So our children might feel that primary math is suddenly very different from kindergarten math. Playing games and having fun with math in the real world are still really important. But in primary grades, children start learning in other, new ways as well. There are lots of ways to support children as they learn more about math. Being a good math role model at home is one of the most helpful things a parent can do. You don't have to be a math teacher. Having a good math attitude and being positive about learning in general goes a long way. Sharing practical tricks can make a big difference. For example, make sure your child has a quiet space without distractions for doing homework every day. And how about organizing a handy math drawer full of pencils, erasers, rulers, graph paper, and a calculator? That way your math student and everyone else will always know where to find them. Being prepared makes it easier to focus. One thing to keep in mind is that learning math involves both practicing basic skills, adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing, and learning how to think through the math problems. Doing math exercises together with your child at home is another great way to help them improve their skills and understand math better. Counting on is one of the first and really important math strategies our children learn, and it combines basic skills with understanding. For example, to add 3 plus 6, start with the bigger number, which is 6, and count on 7, 8, 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. And don't worry, counting on their fingers is okay. It's part of understanding the math problems and helps children keep track, too. Another great way to help your child with problem solving, say by understanding multiplication, is acting out the questions. If he can't remember the answer to 3 times 4, you can remind him that multiplication is just repeated addition. They learn this connection in grade 3. After getting an answer, it's always good to double check. You can use a different method to check your answer, such as skip counting. In this case, you could skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And if for some reason some raisins disappear, you'll know why. Don't be shy to show fun counters to illustrate. These real objects are great thinking tools. You have shown your young learner a few different ways to solve a problem and get to the same answer. It's one thing to see halves, fourths and eighths in a classroom, but real-world examples show that fractions come in many different forms and shapes. They give your child a familiar and visual sense of the math, in this case, fractions. Here are some yummy fractions. In other words, one whole pizza that can be sliced into smaller pieces. How much pizza is this? One half of one pizza. And one slice is one eighth of one pizza. There are many places in your own kitchen where you can explore fractions with your young learner. Primary math focuses on developing both skills and understanding. By helping your child practice math at home, you will engage them, build their confidence, and encourage them to succeed from an early age. Your math help really counts.